There's been a battle over a skin in League. Well, you're not gonna believe what happened over the last two months. A few days ago, Riot revealed some amazing skins coming to League of Legends. Well, that's it good, was all right? new additions to the Coven skin line, which over the years proved to be a really popular one. Okay. And when it comes to the new ones, I would even go as far as to say that these are some of the best skins we have ever yeah, seen. Yeah, that looks cool. And it's not just the amazing Mordekaiser. However, what I yeah. didn't know is that all of this arrived with a bit of a drama. A drama that involves the funniest and dumbest fight I have seen in a while. With okay. the two fighters being Syndra mains and Nami mains. With the main battlefield being the Queens of League subreddit. Now, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't even know that anything was happening. And the only- What the fuck? The reason I found out was because Skin Spotlights mentioned some of the DMs he got from questionable people. So since a lot of you might be in the dark too, uh -huh. why don't we go on a bit of an adventure? Back where it all started about three or four years ago. It all started... What is this, the start of an anime? Holy shit! ...with the two camps getting a bit frustrated. Both Syndra and Nami are old school classic champions, okay. with neither of them having a legendary skin. Okay. So occasionally you might have seen a post such as this one. Legendary skin for Syndra? Am I the only one who feels frustrated for the fact that she doesn't have a legendary skin? I mean, it's not only that she doesn't have it that makes me kinda mad. It's the fact that, for example, Senna, much newer champion, uh -huh. already has a prestige and a legendary in her skin portfolio, and I don't know. I'm just so jealous, I guess. Yeah, Anyone this is only 16. This is only 16 up, dude. It's not really that big of a deal. Anyone else feels like this? Lol. I just wanted to release something for her that blows everyone's minds. Uh -huh. This post definitely seems to be reasonable. I mean, sure. in the past, Syndra was the peak mid laner quite a few times. Yeah, this isn't that and bad. still, she doesn't have a legendary skin. The fact that she got 11 other skins, that's worthless. Right, Rel? But of course, this was three years ago. So over time, the intensity of Syndra Main's frustration rose, which is very much in character for oh Syndra. And so, two years ago, we got a post such as this one. Riot, I... This shit is insane. I am tired. Syndra deserves a legendary skin. Excuse uh -huh. me, please. Sorry, but I feel like I need to be annoying at this point. Riot, I beg you, please just give Syndra's legendary coven and make the skin mm -hmm. one of the most beautiful, powerful, imposing, elegant, mystical, and incredible legendary in the league. This is a fucking simp, bro. This is 100% a simp. You know it. And I won't ask for anything else for the rest of my short life. It is kind of unbelievable yeah. that they called out a coven skin two years ago. Naturally. I have to give them credit for that one. I don't want to die without seeing my main in the Eclipse universe. Lores like these, it what makes me love this game even more. All my mains are in the coven and the only thing missing is the biggest one, Syndra. Yeah, I'm sure they are gonna make a Syndra skin only because of your list of mains. I've been asking for this skin since the first release with Lissandra and Camille. I don't even know where to ask anymore, I swear! I don't understand why they keep ignoring us. Oh, I do understand. And please don't talk about popularity. Okay, that's exactly what I was referring to. Yeah. There are champions that are less popular than Syndra, and who also deserves to be there like Miss Cassiopeia. Sorry I'm sensitive, I just wanted to vent. Just I just can't believe that gaming in 2023 is Reddit posts about companies not making free skins that they can spend, or sorry, skins that they can spend money on. People are complaining about not having enough microtransactions. And yeah, to be fair, this is 2021. This for You're Miss right. Dark almost Solren. So yes, Syndra mains were getting frustrated. Meanwhile, in the Nami mains camp, Similar post, also two years ago. Why oh doesn't my. Nami have a legendary skin yet? While we have champions like Caitlyn and Vayne getting their second legendary skin this year, supports like Nami, Zyra, Lulu and Jenna have yet to receive their first legendary. Do you think this will change by the end of 2021? 
I really like how the first comment is just calling out Jenna for already having a legendary skin. But the counter argument is that it is not a good one. You hear that, Rel? Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's not good. This is crazy. Champion mains are the sims for that champion, especially if they're posting on a Reddit for it. Dude, this is insane, man. It's not a good one. Still, I have to give it to Nami mains for staying calmer than Syndra mains. Yeah. But unfortunately, as the years went by with no legendary skins in sight, right. both teams got frustrated. So back in the Syndra main camp, we got another one. What do you think Syndra's legendary skin will be? Or would you like it to be? We all love Spirit Blossom. And considering she also gained prestige this year, it's likely that next year she'll get her first legendary. And in your opinion, which skin will it be? I like how they shifted gears into it just being pretty much confirmed that she will get a legendary skin. Yeah, bro, like they're thinking past the sale. Bro, they're already like, they, yeah, they're planning for which, yeah, it's like, which color do you want your Ferrari to be? Bro. What the fuck? Because yeah, it's been a while. She's gonna get one, right? Oh my but god. But better yet, they mentioned that she just got a prestige skin, mm -hmm. which somehow is supposed to mean that she will also get a legendary. I don't know how that argument is supposed to work. But regardless, most people voted for the Coven skin line. So Syndra mains really started craving a Coven skin. Now I don't get how this happens because like in WoW, like the new the new Warrior tier set, have you guys seen it? It looks really stupid. It's like, and like, I looked at it and like, I wasn't mad. I was like, <laughs> wow, this one's really fucking bad, huh? You guys really shit the bed on this one. This one sucks. And it's like, I'm not that upset about it, right? Like, I'm not going to make a Reddit post about it, but like, damn. Now, at this point, even the Nami main started getting frustrated. Nami is almost 10 years old and still has no legendary skin. She isn't considered unpopular and has a lot of skin potential. I really want a legendary for her, especially since the last two skins she got were without any events, icons, borders and also filler skin line, nothing new or special. I really hope our fishy will get the skin she deserves, not too far in the future. Now, don't be fooled. While Nami mains may look civil at first, do you guys have any information about the new Nami skin? I <laughs> this is too much, man. Begging for microtransactions, bro. That's the world that we're in now. Begging for microtransactions. I want the new Nami skin so bad. Legendary one, please. Oh Time my god. has corrupted their minds too. And soon. Legendary skin for Nami when? Karma has one. Soraka has one. Hell, even Sona, who no one plays, has one. Oh Riot, my god. where is the legendary skin for Nami? Now, at this point, with the rising popularity of the Queens of League subreddit, the two camps noticed. Wait, so is this like a simp subreddit? Like, guaranteed. Like, you look at these three characters, this is 100% a simp subreddit, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, that's what I thought. And suddenly, arguments over who deserves a legendary skin more. Oh my god. Erupted. Though at this point, the discussion still remained relatively civil. Yeah. But that all changed when the leaking nation attacked. There were talks about the fact changed when besties how we feeling about this leak list. This may be a female League player subreddit. 
That's what it's got to be, guys. It's got. That's what it's got to be. The leaking nation attacked. There were talks. I feel like League creates mental illness more frequently than like almost any other game. Like League is the closest thing because, like, obviously, the game that creates mental illness the most. They're like gotcha games, right? Those are the ones that like really attract the like real fucking people, right? But like League of Legends fucks with people so hard. For well, the fact that a Brazilian streamer got a leak. I about think the reason why is because of how long the games are. It's like if you lose in League, you know you're losing and you have to lose for 20 minutes. About a legendary skin for Govan Syndra. Naturally, this piqued people's interest, but everyone remained skeptical. Because at that point in time, fake leaks about Govan Syndra were made up like every other week. But then, a second 40? leak happened. I was assuming you didn't know that you were losing until halfway through the game, but yeah, I know. A leaker by the name of Big Bad Bear found some traces leading to Govan skins. Namely, it was Syndra with an unknown tear, as well as Neela, well, she looks hot. Akali, yeah, that looks good. And Nami. And for some reason, they also mentioned that the legendary will be between Nami and Syndra. Okay. But it was unclear which one of these two it would be. Oh, so they put also them mentioned against that each there other. would be an old god, which eventually turned out to be Mordekaiser. Now, right. what Big Bad Bear did is that they also just made up a poem. It wasn't written by Riot, it wasn't anywhere in the files, it wasn't related to any content. They just made up a poem to tease people, which I... So they, this guy just straight up wrote fan fiction, and these subreddits went with it. They actually just got trolled. I don't think was the smartest idea. Because people thought it was something official, and yeah. so they started digging way too deep. Spreading misinformation. But also, because now there was a second leak pointing at the same thing. The two war camps actually sat down together at a table, and some serious discussions started. For the most part, people joked about, what the heck is Akali doing there? Like, she's obviously there to generate money. And also, I feel sorry for that one person craving a legendary Alice skin. But then the real talk started. Why I think Nami should get the legendary skin, even if Sinra Oh, you can tell people aren't happy about this, because look at 52 comments and it only has 88 upvotes. Yeah, people are mad. Deserves it more. 100%. Look, yeah, I don't get it either. Our favorite witches are returning, and it's led to a lot of debate on who deserves the legendary oh my God. skin. I've seen most support for Syndra, and I've got to say, she fits the line far better than Nami. If Syndra fits mm -hmm. better, why do you want Nami to get it? It's because Syndra fits the line better than Nami. Legendary skins set themselves apart by adding new voiceovers and animations to better differentiate the skin from base. I personally believe legendary skins should prioritize making characters whose regular characterization clashes with the skin. So, um, that's just false. Riot has a system they call Core Truths. Every champion has their core truth that can't be broken no matter what skin they have. For example, Lux is always Garen's sister. So even if they have a legendary skin, they always have to stay true to their original character. Yeah, Syndra sure. was made for Coven. But because of that, the benefits she would get from a legendary would go so much further on Nami. I hope you'll be able to understand my point of view. I haven't seen anyone else who had the same argument for Nami as I did, and wanted to see if anyone felt the same. Take care, darlings! Oh. Bro, like... What the fuck? Like, I love this, by the way. I really do. So, like, one of my favorite things is on the internet is researching into, like, a micro community of people that are just completely batshit insane. Like, looking up, looking into, like, um, uh, you know, the Chris Chan fandom, looking up about bronies, learning about, uh, oh, fuck, let me think of some more of these, like, uh, like, furry stuff. Um, Area 51, Sovereign Citizens, Juggalos, 
Yeah, I mean, this is just QAnon. Yeah. And it's like, I love this stuff. Yeah, it's like the dark forbidden knowledge. Oh, how civilized. It really feels like the queens had a proper meeting to talk about their concerns. Naturally. But all of that is what was happening on the surface. Because deep below, something rotten was going on. What? You see, as I mentioned, I learned about all of this from Skin Spotlights, who for quite a while didn't know about this either. And who, at this point, has proven himself to be really good at data mining stuff from PBE. Oh, from him I learned it wasn't too difficult to get a hand on all the leaked info. Uh -huh. And in fact, he already knew what was coming to leak and he knew who had the legendary skin. But he didn't tell anyone, just like a lot of other data miners. Because So he just let it happen so people could fight amongst each other and just let him get mad. I love it. Believe it or not, data miners are not leakers. They are looking for secret files for fun, not for attention on the internet. Yeah, yeah, And they sure. don't leak stuff even if they know something that they shouldn't know. Because leakers suck and they ruined quite a few events in the past. I not agree. to mention Briar. That was quite something. Oh, didn't they make her wear socks or something like that? Because I remember seeing this picture and then in the other one... They put socks on her or something? No, it was a meme? Okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, I remember seeing this and like, people just went crazy about it. And in fact, I learned that some of the leakers were confused about who's getting the legendary skin uh -huh. because the leaks were related to a link to a media file. For example, in this case, they got a link to the trailer video for the Coven skins. But that one was in a different language. The issue there is that the translations are very often not right. So it was unclear sure. who is the main character of that trailer. Or in other words, it was unclear who the legendary skin is. In fact, this is how the poem was made up. The poem talked about Ocean's Call, but the original reference was translated from Siren's Call. So it was the indirect translation that screwed people over. Regardless. So this, this guy's just like, he leaked it and he knew what it was. Then he just put out a fucking poem to make people think it was something else just to fuck with them. Oh, this is great. This is where a really desperate thing happened. You see, the Dark Cabal of Queens learned that the data miners knew, and they initiated a new operation. An operation called, let's learn who the f is the legendary skin, besties. The plan was simple, message the data miners. Pretend you are someone important and get the info at any cost. The following are real quotes from real DMs they got. Hello, skin spotty light. I just want to make a thing with you. I just want to know who got the new Coven legendary skin. For sure I will not expose it on internet after it. I just want to know for myself. Please and good night. But of course... <laughs> scammer grammar? It is! It is scammer grammar! Of course, being the giga chats they are, the data miners were impervious. And they would not be so easily yeah. parted with their precious information. So some of the sneakier queens stepped up their game. Hey, ya, uh, I work for the Greek dub for League of Legends with the studio. I just want to let you know we have just sent the VO for Nami's skin for the Greek dub. I assume you saw it on data. How is that possible? Skins never come that early before our deploy. Oh my God. I assume other dubs would come later in the cycle. Or is it an extensive PBE cycle? We are not informed. Appreciate it if you can say honestly, lol. That's right, channeling the power of deception from LeBlanc herself. The dark cabal of the queen's disguise. It's just like... How, how is anybody going to believe this? It's illegal, by the way? No, it's not. This person is probably 14. Yeah, I mean, they're just a kid. What, what's going to happen to him? What, are they going to give him detention? 
disguised themselves as officials working or with 44. Riot Games. Yeah. Where they messaged a data miner not affiliated with Riot. And they Naturally. talked about disclosed information which the data miner is not even supposed to know about. Like, um... I really want to uncensor this person because if they really were working on the Greek dub, they yeah. would be under NDA and just by mentioning a skin that wasn't even revealed yet, they get in trouble. They would be hit with a massive fine. Yeah, they also, get in they specifically mentioned working on the Greek dub because that's where leaks happened in the past. Yeah. But that person is um, apparently Turkish. Regardless, yeah. unfortunately for the queens, the data miners wouldn't yield. Smart. And the two war camps were growing desperate, aiming their pitchforks not only at each other, but also at everyone around them. It got to a point where literally any fart on the internet started a new theory. So when the Riot Music account tweeted, Good morning, support mains, which I believe is totally gonna be related to the musical skin line, this is down bad, man. Like, these people are straight up down bad. Like, I honestly, like, I'm starting to get to the point where I, I kind of feel bad. It's like, just, guys, just give them the skin. Just give it to them, please. We are totally getting at the end of this year. Yeah. Which means that this was unrelated to all that was Let them happening. suffer? Also, so? this was tweeted like three weeks before anything was even teased. Naturally. People still took it as a confirmation that Nami was the one. Mm -hmm. A prediction that soon became a curse. It was after that that the day came. The day Riot revealed a trailer called Siren's Call. Okay. Which would reveal the full Coven lineup as well as who the legendary skin is. All and right. it was there that the two war camps watched in disbelief as the truth came out. Nami was the one to get the legendary skin. She would be the queen to reign the queens of League. The truth that would bring Syndra mains to their knees. Okay. One that caused uh, many Syndra mains to be very rude and quite racist and- a Race? A Wait, what? Removed. Also, it's funny to see that Skin Spotlights actually knew about a lot of this for a while, but he didn't know the drama was happening. Apparently, the <laughs> not even know. <laughs> Bro, he's not even checking his DMs. He's like, ah, it's whatever, right? It is what it is. Yeah, it is no fucking idea. Tommy's skin was just fetched in early. And yes, as I mentioned, as expected, Syndrome- Nami won because- wait, so Nami won because of Korea? Is that it? Mains were not too happy about this. The way this means Syndra is never getting a coven legendary. Kill incident all over again. It's sinned over. I am sorry, Syndra mains. You did not deserve this. Are there other skin lines where Syndra would slay as legendary as much as coven? I feel like this was the one specifically made for her. Jesus. And she could have easily been double legendaries with Nami for maximum slayage. Oh. If Nami is not on a polyamorous relationship with the old gods, then it's not serving. Mm. And just like that, the war was over. It kind of sucks to see how much the players actually love their champions. And how Riot pretty much just took the one thing they wanted to see for the champion away. But hey, in my opinion, it is still quite unhealthy to get overly attached to a champion. So... Yeah, I mean, this is... This is... Like, there are adults that are invested in this. This is <laughs> League of Losers. <gasps> oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> like, I'm just in shock for this whole thing. Like, how is this even possible? Don't worry, there is a to be continued soon. That's what Necrit says in chat. So this is going, this is not the end, it's merely the beginning. I get you, Syndra mains. But goddamn, the Nami skin is legitimately one of the best skins I have ever seen in this yeah, game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, long story short, yeah, don't message people trying to pray information out of them, which they shouldn't even have. Also, straight up threatening is scummy. And I have to say, after it's quite weird. a lot of digging through the Queens of League subreddit, they are one of the more wholesome subreddits from the League's communities. It is certainly in contrast to the Darkin folk. 
And yeah, when it comes to legendary skins, don't look too much into it. And be happy that your skin is not $200. Also, True. I wouldn't look into how legendary skins were made in the past. Old Riot made those skins differently. They didn't look at what champion was popular. So, don't bring up the fact that Cho'Gath has two legendaries, okay? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm always so glad whenever I watch a video of, like, mental illness in another community that's not World of Warcraft. Like, whenever I get to see and say, like, hey, guys, see, look, hey, it's not just us. 